Hey, good morning. So today I'm going to share with you some great ways that you can use LinkedIn for lead generation. LinkedIn is a great lead generation tool. It's a great opportunity to stay connected, get connected, get some business uh, for your social selling. So today I'm going to show you some great ways uh, to generate leads from LinkedIn really right from the home page. So as we look here, there's a lot of stuff on the home page, a lot of things that might feel confusing to you. So I'm going to step you through this and show you how to actually get some business from the home page. So the first thing is you'll notice we have 22 people viewed your profile in the last three days. If you have a LinkedIn paid subscription, you actually get to see all of those people, but we might get a few of those. So let's take a look and see who those people are. So we see the last 90 days here. Three people who worked at the Huffington Post. If we scroll down here, we see a few people uh, that are here. We get profile views matter, who all these folks are. Uh, if we want to, we can connect with them there. We also see that this is someone who is beyond our network. So we're not quite sure who they are here. Some of these people viewed pro my profile in private mode uh, on there. 544 more people viewed. So of course, LinkedIn is gonna try to get us on premium, but I would look first every day at this. It gives us just a couple minutes on how to do that. So if we go back then to the LinkedIn homepage, uh, we see the 26 people viewed my post, the sales tip number one, that's fantastic. We can also use that to generate some leads. People who look at our posts are really good people to target. So. Uh, we can't always see who viewed that, but we can see who responded. So right here, we've got Bob Hill and we've got George Shia. Both are first degree connections. So that means they're already connected to me on LinkedIn. Hopefully I've already prospected for business with them. If I haven't, they're good people to transact some business with and they shared my post. So we look at comments. Comments are people who left a comment, who had a thought on this. And this is often where we start seeing some, some increased reach and some better leads. So we see there's a second degree connection here, security IT project manager at K-Force at Johnson Controls. Okay, that's great. Florenzo Riccardi, CEO of the Toronto Hockey Store in Goalie Heaven. If that's of interest, I could do that. Third degree connection here on that. Now we've got, you know, someone who is second degree connection, head of social strategy, North America at Oracle. So I would write these down and see who these people who these people are. Go look them up. But as we look at these, we also want to look at the likes. These are also great opportunity for leads because they've already engaged with us here. We see Cheryl Kinney, third degree connection. We go here. Julia Asmania, second degree connection. Nicholas Calavas, third degree connection. Lots of first degrees here, uh, which is fantastic to see. All of those are opportunities to engage, and we can go through all of our posts. This is one of the reasons why I recommend that you actually post on LinkedIn. You'll notice here's the activity here. Out of 582 people that saw it, we're looking at you know nearly uh, 75, 76 responses, 76 people either shared, commented, or liked. That's pretty darn good on 582 people, and now we can see who those people are. Obviously, if this is something that I did a while ago, these leads are probably dead. So you want to follow up on them right away. So let's go back to the homepage. Let's look at a few other ways that we could get some leads here. Now, one of the first ways is to change these three dots. A lot of people don't even realize this. You want to change it from top updates to recent updates. Recent updates show us people that are making action right now. So these are people that we could interact with right now that are on the LinkedIn platform, using the LinkedIn mobile app, whatever, right now. So if Ron DeGrande is a connection of mine, if Pablo Martinez now is someone that I wanna to connect to, Ron is on the platform and I could ask for that introduction from there. As we keep going here, we see Brian Farrell has some people here other people sharing. And then LinkedIn then says, are these people that you actually know? These are people I'm not first level connected with, could be great leads for me. So I scroll down. I don't spend a whole lot of time on here. Uh, but if I do see something, one that I want to connect with, I'm going to ask for that. If I do see something that I can interact with on uh, LinkedIn, I'm going to do that. Someone that uh, made a good comment, made a good post. I'm going to do that. I'm going to share that. 
I'm going to try to engage there. So it's interesting to me that people are posting political type stuff on LinkedIn. Political stuff, it's fine to have an opinion. I'm going to tell you, though, folks, posting political stuff is going to get you nuked. Half those people are going to hate your guts. You can't really win posting political stuff. Not telling you don't have an opinion. Just reminding you that if you want to tick off half your network, go ahead and post political stuff. So here we go. We got someone who's asking a question here. Jason Falls is doing that. Other things, see, these are beyond my network. Orlando Haynes, first level connection here. Now doing the Tracy Hooper, if I wanted to, I could comment on this too, someone beyond my network. So a lot of opportunities there to engage. As I scroll back to the top of the page, we also have the opportunity to keep in touch with our first level connections. First level connections are people that we're already connected to. We have their contact info. It's great that LinkedIn is giving us three choices here, like, message, or skip. But my favorite option here is actually to click on their profile and send them an email. So if I click on, you know, I can just like this one, right? I could skip. Sometimes I skip because, you know, it's not helpful. But if I click on this person's profile, as I click on this now, I'm going to see that I have access to their contact info. So I'm not going to load up Nick's contact info because I'm not going to expose it uh, to you here in this video. But I am going to tell you that this is a great way. I have contact info. Many people also list their phone number. So it's a great opportunity for you to actually reach out and touch someone personally. Pick up the phone and call them. Make a real difference in their life or send them an email if only their email address is loaded. So here's some great ways to generate leads with LinkedIn. There's a ton more. I'll be sharing a lot more at linkedintobusiness.xyz very soon. Uh, but for now, this is Phil Gerbyshack. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful. And I hope you earn some business using LinkedIn today.